It wasn't until the next morning when I had a nightmare that I realized that I had omitted a portion of the plan procedure. Obviously, uh, I felt horrible. Uh, in, in fact, the initial feeling was, this can't be right. How could I possibly not have done this? So we took the patient back to the operating room. The patient ultimately did fine, but he did end up getting this second operation that he didn't need. I expected comments like, how could you be so stupid to do something like that? But instead, I got something totally different. I, when I was a younger surgeon, did something similar, so I understand what you're going through. Each of them was constructive and had a solution for helping me learn not to make this kind of error again. It's important for us to understand all the errors that occur because we're trying to figure out where we need to fix problems and what problems we need to fix immediately. In 2012, we surveyed staff to understand how they view the hospital's safety culture. And we learned that only 45% of staff feel safe talking about errors. At Brigham and Women's Hospital, we are committed to creating an environment where all staff feel safe talking about errors so that we can learn and improve the care we provide to our patients. I went back in the computer and I'm flipping through and I see him like, I gave her four of Dilaudid. My intention was to give her one. I walked down to the MICU and I told the doctors, you know, my error and they were very you know supportive and said oh if that's it we can fix that and acted like it was no big deal to me it was like the end of the world I'm like crying my eyes out and I think about 45 minutes later to an hour the patient was extubated and almost back to her baseline before it happened but I still felt you know terrible about the error I woke up, I had like six missed calls from my nurse manager, Janet, and I sat in a room and talked with her and she really just talked me through and just explained to me like, I'm not going to punish you for this. This is something we want to learn from, we want to improve, we want to prevent. When you make an error, the only way to improve upon it is to figure out why the error was made and keep it from happening again. Since my error occurred, we have initiated scanning on all medications that come out of the Omni cell up there, and we also don't have that high of a dosage of medication in there anymore. As these stories show, talking about errors can improve care. To create an environment where all staff feel safe talking about errors, we are adopting the principles of a just culture. In a just culture, we understand that we are all human and can make mistakes. We are often making decisions in the face of competing priorities. Our systems can sometimes directly contribute to error. We're all human. We're all certainly at risk for, for making errors. And that our goal is not to be punitive, but to really learn from an actual error so that we can then take that learning and apply it to ensure that our systems are safer in the future. We've committed to training all of our supervisors throughout the institution to be open and receptive and encouraging about this kind of safety information. And frankly, if anyone is not being received that way by their immediate supervisor, they should go up the next level or they can come right to me or right to Alan Cachalia. This Just Culture initiative is so important to the organization that I've made it a priority for me to make sure the entire HR team has been trained and equipped to help all of our managers and our employees as they're working to navigate through this new Just Culture. Patient safety extends a long ways beyond the clinicians that are directly interacting with patients, from how we clean to how we transport to basically everything we think about. The same approaches and principles ought to apply to our employees that don't even have anything to do with patient care. This is different than the way we did things in the past. So it will take time. It's going to take working together, being transparent. We are all accountable for our choices. 
But in a just culture, we do not punish for the human errors that we are all prone to or for the decisions that we all could make in the face of competing priorities. We want to be known as that world-class hospital that has the level of humility that we're willing to learn from our errors, because that's, that's really the power of a just culture. Because at the end of the day, this really is about our patients and their families, and it's about us doing the right thing.